It's now less than one month to the 2025 UTME. Oops, take a deep breath because all your months of preparation will be tested in just two hours. I know I never see my D, but don't worry, we have all been there. I mean, I was once like you, but there are things I did when it was just one month to my exam, and there are things I regret not doing when I was like you. With my relationship with a lot of jambites, I have discovered that many of you are not doing some of these things yet. This is Dr. Jirima, a medicine and surgery student of the prestigious University of Ibadan. And today, I will be showing you how to utilize the remaining days to the UTME and still blast the UTME very, very well. Now, the first point we'll be looking at today is that you must make a new strategy or modify the previous ones you have. If you don't yet have a reading strategy, this is the time to create a structure for yourself that will cover the next 30 days or the next 28 days or the next 27 days even if you are seeing it in the next 10 days to your UTME just make a reading strategy that will cover for the remaining days so what do you do? you craft out the plan you share your um, subject into the different days Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday till Saturday or Sunday then you create time structure you say from 8 to 10 I'm going to read this subject from 12 to 1 from 2 to 4 create a structure for yourself so that you can utilize the remaining days always step person that if you don't have a plan there's no way you can function properly and utilize every available time you have because this jam exam you are writing you are competing with a lot of jam bites so you must be very 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 strategic if you have a plan already please modify it like try to work upon it you know this time you have to be doing a lot of reading maybe you were reading one hour two hours three hours before now you have to increase the time hour intervals you know yourself i can't just suggest a time for you you know what you know how many hours you can read for so try to increase the number of hours if you are doing two hours try to go three four five and, and, and what have you what we get on trying to say the next point is to cut off every distraction as much as possible one thing i noticed that many jam are still battling with managing distractions and all other things that are taking their time at this point you must be able to cut off distractions you must be able to cut off those things that take your time anything that's not helping you anything that's not going to help you blast your jump please cut it as much as possible if it's um maybe your friends that take your time know when to cut them off and tell them please i have this i want to give my time to reading for the so so and so hours if you want to read for three hours nobody should interrupt your reading hours in that three hours you can go to a library or a place a solitary place that you can read and not be distracted make sure you are able to read for stretch at this point because this is not the time to start cutting cutting and cutting i'll read for 30 minutes um in the morning and i say 20 minutes in the afternoon and all that you must be able to go for long at this point so if you're reading for three hours you're okay i'm reading for 50 minutes in one hour then in the remaining 10 minutes i'm going to take a break the next one hour i'm reading for 30 minutes or 40 minutes i take a break then the next one hour left for my three hours reading i'm reading for 45 minutes i'm going to take a break then i continue later up again so you must be able to manage your time in this interval and nothing is distracting you because your jam exam is your major priority at this point and you don't have time again now the next point is that you must avoid reading a new textbook or complicated stuff I've noticed that many students just want to start reading big, big tests. Maybe your friend just told you that, okay, today let's read advanced level physics. You have not opened advanced level physics in your life. It's now one month to your jam that you have to start reading advanced level physics. No, that's not the right thing to do. This time, consolidate on all the points you already know. Go to back to the previous topics you have read in your textbook. Maybe you have marked points, you have written out um, some, some keywords, some, some key points in your notes. This is the time to go back to those points. Not start reading unnecessary textbook or start reading complicated stuff. Maybe your friend tell you there's one new formula reading or there's one a new strategy working. If you have a formula that is working for you, use that formula to solve your question. Don't start juggling things about. It's except maybe the thing is going to help you cut off your time in the exam. Or maybe it's a shortcut and all that. That way you can learn it. If something that is not necessary to you or you already have a better way of doing it, use your strategy. Everybody cannot be the same. Everyone cannot use the same strategy. Please, please, and please always work with what is working for you now i like saying this point very well in every live session i do that as a jam bite you must have a lot of points jam is one based on points so the next point on our list is that you must grab a lot of points in the jam syllabus yes 
you must know a lot of things because to, to answer jam questions correctly you must have a vast knowledge of so many topics in the jam syllabus like almost all the topics you must know something about them i always tell person that someone that knows a little about everything is better than someone that just know everything about just a few things you get so for instance if you know important points in uh maybe 35 topics out of 42 topics in the jam syllabus you are better off than someone that just know 13 topics out of the 42 topics in the jam syllabus because you you have you know a lot out of different different topics but that guy just know a lot just know everything in just a few topics this is the time to know point because jam will test your knowledge on almost all the topics and if you have a little idea of all the topics in the jam syllabus and edge than someone that just know everything about just some topics in the syllabus and this is one major reason i tell students to join a good online tutorial because at this point all you need is points like important points to take note of you need to be able to revise all the topics at this point so joining a good tutorial is going to help you maximize this time very well for instance at universal tutorial of which i am one of the co-founders we are going to be covering all the topics in the jam syllabus and giving you important points to take note of in every one of these topics to join this revision class click on the link below or search for your science tutorial on our social media pages now the next point is that you must do a lot of past questions i always tell students that please and please as you study as you revise solve past questions because the, most of the time jam will really just change the style of the question and if you are vast with the, with the style of jam questions you're able to do excellently well with utme without even covering all the topics word for word like covering your textbook word for word so please and please try to do a lot of past questions as you study at this point it's very important then also as you do that the next point is that you must be able to get used to answering jam questions in just two hours that is to stay practice jam cbt mocks and tests then the next point on our list is that you must be in the active jam community to get updates there are some updates you can get before your exam and if you are not in an active community you will not get access to this information and the last point but not the least is that you must commit your exams into god's hands like i always say make sure you write out your dream jam score and pray about it if you believe yourself so well that you can do this and you trust that with god backing it is possible type out your dream jam score in the comment section and i will be there to interact with you the utm is just one of many exams you will write so don't be nervous or afraid about it i sincerely hope you will not see the utm again for anything i wish you success in your upcoming jam exam and i hope to hear your beautiful jam score in the coming days i remain the one and only dr jeremiah and i will see you in the next video